No, it's far too much on my side. Let's get it. Let's get it up. Okay. Hey everybody, today I'm really excited because I got a new package and the package is from Land Sun Solar and it's the solar panel for our Land Rover Discovery 4. Um, I think it's a 110 watt panel and yeah, that's really cool. I think I would really love to see it. So let's have a look. This is the panel. It's not that small, but um, as I said before, um, it has 110 watts and I think uh, it really fits uh, well on the Discovery 4. It will have a great look over here. So, <laughs> And now I will put it over here. As you can see here, I already did a little bit of unboxing because it's really well packed. And I think that's cool because it won't get damaged or something like that. Uh, what you see here is the full set for the Land Rover Discovery 3 or Land Rover Discovery 4, um, which means there is the panel integrated, there is some hood decal, there's the uh, charging converter and uh, some other stuff which you need um, to install this one. I have to say um, I got some discount from Lancelot for this, but I already want to uh, order it. And I asked them if you also can get this discount. I will link you the discount in the description below. So if you want to buy this one, use the code in the description and you can get it cheaper. Okay. And now uh, I will tell you what's integrated in my package and how I will install this. <coughs> so the first thing is um, there is some decal. And I will use this decal because I don't want to mount this uh, panel directly on my hood paint um, because if I want to remove it sometimes, um, yeah, it would damage the paint and I don't want to have this. And so I ordered um, the set with the DK. There's an instruction manual for the DK. I think this is this one. Yeah, you can see there's an instruction manual how you install this one. Um, then there's the panel itself. I have to say this has uh, 110 watt. And this is the installation instruction for this one. And what, what is really cool is this is the charging converter. And this charging converter is uh, waterproof, I think, or water resistant because it's IP67. Uh, and yeah, it's a plug and play system. There is a fuse and there are the connections for the solar panel. And here's, here are the connections uh, for your battery. So what is cool about this thing too is um, you can use it with an app. Uh, which means you can see how much power you're producing at the moment. And I think this is really cool. Hey, and welcome back to the installation of the Land Sun Solar Solar Panel uh, on our Land Rover Discovery 4. Um, the first step I will do is I will clean up the hood. Um, for this, I will use uh, a glass cleaner, or you can also use uh, some alcohol like isopropanol. Um, then uh, I will uh, get the de I will wet the decal and the hood, and then. We will try it uh, to place the decal on the hood and yeah, get it on. What I have to say is um, there are some things you should take care of. Um, the first thing is um, it has to have 10 degrees Celsius, a minimum for, for the installation. Um, and there should be no sun or no directly sun on your hood, especially when you have a black car. Okay. So then let's start with it and let's clean the hood. Yeah, let's go. Uh, for adding this decal uh, on the hood, you should uh, mix up some water and soap. But here I can give you a, a small tip. If you have some isopropanol, um, then put, I think, five or six drop uh, within the water, because when you're adding this one on the hood, um, the isopropanol uh, will get away the water and it's much easier to get the water out of the decal. Okay, now we'll get the white paper off. So uh, just be careful when you spray it on. So next step, get the dust away and then 
I will spray the hood with our soap and isopropanol water. So. Make it really, really wet. Then we will grab the decay and then uh, get it in position and then uh, use our, what's the name for this? Squeegee or something like that and get the water and everything out. And the squeegee, the squeegee, what is it? It's this one. <laughs> so, yeah, you will get this uh, with the with the decal from Lens and Solar. So this is included. After placing the decal on the hood, uh, we take our tool and start in the middle. So always use the soft one and get it from the middle to outside. What do you think? Wow, I mean, the whole car and this one look really Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we don't need to place the solar panel over here. I think we let it like. Yeah, yeah okay. Five Ah, a mad car would really be cool. Hmm. Big maybe, project! <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you will sell your Range Rover Evoke and get a Discovery 4 instead. And then? And then we can. Try to wrap it in black <laughs> meat. Raptor. Yeah, a raptor. No, mm -hmm. I think a raptor is, is not really cool for, uh, stuff for a car. No, I mean the raptor, uh, you know. The paint. The paint. Yeah, the raptor paint. Yeah. yeah. Is that you it's not cool for a car. Yeah, it is cool, but I don't think it's it's, it's very um, yeah useful because the dirt you won't get the dirt off because I see this on our rock sliders <laughs> and yeah. So um, as tip for you, uh, don't place your decal too wide up here. So let's heat it up a bit. Finally, we did it. And now I'll grab the camera and show you um, how this looks like a little bit closer. So this is how the foil looks like. Ah, there's some uh, glue rests from the from the rolling. I will uh, get them away with isopropanol. But as you can see here, I think this really looks great. There are no bubbles. The next step is I will clean um, our decal with isopropanol. Um, to get every fat and everything away from this. So now we'll clean our solar panel on the back. Um, what I forgot to say is uh, this 3M double sided tape you have to get on your own because it's not included in the set. And yeah, I will link this in the description below so you can find this on Amazon for I think 26 or 27 euros. Uh, what I will do next is um, I will place the tape on the back. Uh, then we will get the solar panel on the hood, uh, get some painter tape, place it in the right position, and then yeah, peel the, the plastic from the double-sided tape off and stick it on. I really don't know if that is yeah. the right place. Yes, it is. Watch your, watch your edges. I'm, I'm in position. No, it's far get too it much up, up, on my side. Let's get it up. Okay. 
up again. It's sticking there already. Okay, then let's try it again. So, Are you pushing it down now? No, to me, to me, to me. Get it to me. No, it's not. That's a millimeter, that's okay. Yeah, get it down. That's okay. That's not. No, that's. I thought it, it would be a centimeter. Of it. The next step we will do, we will install our solar converter. Um, this one should be really easy to install because it's plug and play, as you can see here. You only have to connect those, um, one to your car, the black one, and one to your battery, the plus one. And there is also a fuse integrated. So let's open up the hood and install this one. I will uh, place the converter in here and I will show you where and why. Um, as you can see here, uh, for my additional headlights here in the front, I already have this uh, switch here installed. The next thing is this one, uh, as you can see here, should be cool. Uh, and that's the reason why I will um, add it on this side. Uh, for the moment, I will, I will add a um, double tape here, a double tape here, and stick it um, to this side here. And then the red one, I already split them up. Those cables are normally uh, stick together. And okay. See. Um, the red one will go to the battery over here, and the black one I will connect um, to the car here. So yeah, and that's it. And then connect the solar panel, and yeah, we're done with the installation. So I get some isopropanol to clean the back of this and the back on here. And then I will get our uh, rubber sided 3M tape. This is only uh, for the moment. After, uh, after the video, I will fix this with um, two screws on the plastic here. As I said before, um, this one is waterproof, so you can go with it through water and it will not be damaged. Okay, maybe, uh, I don't know if you see this, maybe you can come over here with the camera. So the guys can see where I placed this one. As I said before, uh, the cooling stands out here. This one. I will take to the plastic cover. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I need screws because this 3M tape is awesome. <laughs> uh, be sure when you're uh, getting your cable in that the cable uh, is still free and will not touch any, any heated um, things in your car because then you can get in trouble. So. Oh, thank you. Okay, the black one is connected. So it can come out. And it's not in the end, not, not directly near the engine. So. Later, and I will also make another video uh, where I show you how the app works and everything, and then I'll show you how I did this in here. Okay. And then we place the fuse uh, within here, so it's covered from dirt and everything. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, as I said before, I will place them correctly. One. And two, yeah. And that is how you install a 
solar panel on your lateral discovery four. Um, I don't think it's very hard, but um, I also think you will need a second person um, for getting the the decal on and the solar panel on, and it's much easier. And yeah, I hope you like the video. I hope you find this information helpful and you get something out of it. And if you do so, please give me a like. And if you want to see more from that kind of content and maybe how I upgrade uh, this coming forward. But yeah, just follow and see you soon. Have a nice day, guys, and bye.